Liger vs. Lion Who would win a fight between these two legendary big cats? Ligers and lions are the two magnificent beasts at the top of the big cat family's hierarchy. A liger is a cross between a lion and a tigress, whereas a lion is a pure species that rules the African savanna. Ligers are the biggest cats in the family, even bigger than their parents. What do they look like? As said before, ligers are typically larger than lions, tigers, or tigans. This is because of a condition known as growth dysplasia, which is caused by a lack of specific genes that limit growth. Male lions generally provide growth-promoting genes, which are countered by growth-limiting genes provided by female lions in the wild. A large liger can reach lengths of over 3.3 meters, or 10.8 feet, and up to 3.65 meters, 12 feet. A liger weighs approximately 900 pounds, 400 kilograms. The liger is a massive beast with a large muscular body and a broad head. Ligers typically have sandy or dark yellow fur with distinctive faint stripes inherited from their mother. The lion is a large wild cat with tawny fur and white underparts. The long tail ends with a black tuft. Male lions display sexual dimorphism, with their distinctive manes ranging in color from black to blonde. Meanwhile, the manes of those who live in open spaces are notably fuller. The mane makes the lion appear much larger than it is, which helps the animal intimidate opponents during encounters with other lions, as well as the spotted hyena, which is the animal's main competitor throughout its range. African lions can grow to measure between 9 and 10 feet long, 3 meters, from head to tail, with the tail being about 2 to 3 feet long, 60 to 91 centimeters. They typically weigh between 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms, with males reaching the higher end of that range. Where do they live? Long before fans heard Napoleon claim that the Liger is pretty much my favorite animal, there have been rumors of the hybrid's existence in the wild. Lion-tiger mating occurs in captivity. However, it does not occur in the wild, most likely for the same reason that humans do not breed with gorillas or chimps. Crossing the species line is not common in the wild because it would result in diminished fitness of the offspring. According to Ronald Tilson, Director of Conservation at the Minnesota Zoo in Apple Valley, another impediment to natural lion-tiger mating is geography. Wild tigers are mostly found in Asia, whereas lions are almost entirely found in Africa. Presently, lions are distributed across the sub-Saharan region of Africa and in Gia Forest in Gujarat state of India. They prefer grassy plains and savannas, scrub-bordering rivers, and open woodlands with bushes. They rarely enter closed forests. Remnant populations can also be found in the tropical moist forests in West Africa and montane forests in East Africa. Male lions defend the pride's territory, which may include an area of up to 100 square miles, 259 square kilometers. What and how do they hunt? The liger, like the rest of the world's felines, is a carnivorous animal, which means it hunts and kills other animals for food. Although the liger's wild diet is only speculation, it is thought to be similar to that of a tiger, primarily hunting large herbivores such as deer, wild boar, and, due to their enormous size, possibly small or vulnerable Asian elephants. In captivity, they consume an average of 20 pounds of meat per day, but it is believed that a liger could easily consume 100 pounds of food in one sitting. The liger has a massive jaw with sharp, pointed teeth that are perfect for tearing through flesh. Ligers also have very muscular bodies and sharp claws, which also help them to catch and eat their prey. 
antelope, zebra, and wildebeests are common prey for this big cat. However, scavenged food provides more than 50% of their diets. These big cats will often take over kills made by other carnivores, and cooperative hunting enables them to take down prey as large as buffaloes, rhinos, hippos, and giraffes. The female does 85 to 90% of the hunting, usually by setting up an ambush for its prey. The kill is not shared equally within a pride, and at times of prey scarcity, cubs might experience higher mortality rates, as hungry females may not even share with their offspring. How do they behave in the wild? Despite their enormous size and the fact that their parents are two of the world's most ferocious predators, the liger is known to be a relatively gentle and docile animal, especially when interacting with handlers. They have been reported to be slightly confused as to whether they are lions or tigers because their most bewildering characteristic is their apparent love of water. Tigers frequently enter the water in the wild, either to catch prey or to cool off in the heat, so they are naturally good swimmers, which the liger appears to have inherited. The African lion will sleep for 20 hours per day. The majority of their activity occurs after the sunset, with a lot of vocalizing and grooming. They will go hunting early in the morning. The only big cats that form groups are African lions. These are known as pride groups. They are made up of one or two males, five or six females, and the cubs. Some lions are nomadic. These African lions spend their days exploring on their own. The roars of lions are used to announce their presence. The fight. Who would win between a liger and a lion? The most important comparison between a liger and a lion is the weight of both animals. A liger is a large animal that is much larger in both size and weight than a lion. A liger weighs twice as much as a lion and is twice the size of the lion. The presence of a mane is one of the characteristics shared by a liger and a lion. Lions were previously the only cats in the big cat family with manes around their necks until the arrival of the ligers. The ligers have now emerged as big cats with manes around their necks. A liger's mane, on the other hand, is typically smaller in size than a lion's mane. It's also worth noting that not all ligers have manes around their necks. The head of a liger is thought to be nearly twice the size of that of a lion. A larger head size also means larger jaws and massive biting power. The big cat family heavily relies on agility. Speed is a key characteristic that defines a big cat's agility. However, a liger's large size does not make it any more agile than a lion. We've seen in big cats that the bigger the cat, the less agile it is, and the same is true in the liger versus lion comparison. As a result, a lion is more agile than a liger. A liger is also very calm and less aggressive as compared to a lion. Lions, on the other hand, are highly territorial, and they always tend to maintain their dominance by territory gain. Lions are social animals with a well-defined social structure. However, in one-on-one -on -one combat, the liger would be heavier and stronger than its parents. It may fail in a fight with a large male lion with a fully developed mane, especially if the fight is for mating. The personalities and attitudes of each big cat differ even within the same species. Some are less aggressive, while others are very daring and aggressive and fueled with aggression. So many factors count other than size alone, and keep in mind that ligers were never in the wild. Fighting is an instinct, and it is known that hybrid animals are totally screwy when it comes to instinctive behaviors. Ligers would most likely lack or have a confused fighting instinct. However, there are two reasons that a liger would fight a lion. One is over mating rights, and one is over food. For mating rights, the lion has the upper hand. For food, ligers being bigger and might be able to just knock a lion. 
What is your opinion? Lion versus Grizzly Bear. Who would win a fight between these two apex predators? African lions and grizzly bears are both powerful predators on our planet. The African lion is widely seen in Africa and grizzly bears are seen in America. The American grizzly bears are considered to be one of the most dangerous animals in the world. The African lions are one of the most successful predators, also known as the king of the jungle, or more accurately, king of the savanna. Both of these predators are quite ferocious and amazing wild animals, and they can stand firmly in a tough fight with each other. What do they look like? African lions can grow to between 9 and 10 feet long, 3 meters from head to tail, with the tail being about 2 to 3 feet long, 60 to 91 centimeters. They typically weigh between 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms, with males reaching the higher end of that range. Lions have strong, compact bodies and powerful forelegs, teeth and jaws for pulling down and killing prey. Their coats are yellow gold and adult males have shaggy manes that range in color from blonde to reddish brown to black. The length and color of a lion's mane is likely determined by age, genetics and hormones. Grizzlies are massive animals with humped shoulders and an elevated forehead that contributes to a somewhat concave profile. The fur is brownish to buff, and the hairs are usually silver or pale-tipped to give the grizzled effect for which they are named. Large adult grizzlies may be about 8 feet 2.5 meters long and weigh about 900 pounds 410 kilograms. Because of their bulk and long straight claws, these bears rarely climb, even as cubs. Other grizzlies, however, are surprisingly agile and can run as fast as 48 kilometers per hour, 30 miles per hour. Their eyesight is poor, and they have been known to attack humans without evident provocation. How do they hunt? Lions prey on a large variety of animals, ranging in size from rodents and baboons to Cape buffalo and hippopotamuses, but they predominantly hunt medium to large-sized hoofed animals such as wildebeests, zebras and antelopes. Lions are known to take elephants and giraffes, but only if the individual is young or especially sick. Lionesses living in open savanna do most of the hunting, whereas males typically appropriate their meals from the females' kills. Though a group of hunting lions is potentially nature's most formidable predatory force on land, a high proportion of their hunts fail. Typically, they stalk prey from nearby cover and then burst forth to run it down in a short, rapid rush. After leaping on the prey, the lion lunges at its neck and bites until the animal has been strangled. The bear is omnivorous. Its diet consists of berries, grain, fish, insects, birds, and mammals. The bear will hunt deer and moose and also feed on carcasses. However, a majority of the bear's diet, around 70%, consists of something other than meat. The bear kills its prey by biting it in the neck or back. It can also kill the prey animal with a strike of its forepaw, which is often enough to break the animal's spine. Often the bear will also bite its prey in the snout, which leaves deep canine marks that are clearly visible. The bear has also been known to bite its prey in the back of the neck to kill it. Where do they live? During the Pleistocene Epoch, lions ranged across all of North America and Africa, through most of the Balkans, and across Anatolia and the Middle East into India. At present, the lion's main stronghold is in sub-Saharan Africa, and the Asiatic lion exists only as a remnant population made up of approximately 500 individuals 
inhabiting India's Gia National Park on the Katiawa Peninsula. Lions inhabit a wide range of habitats, from open plains to thick brush and dry thorn forest. They are absent from equatorial areas dominated by moist tropical forest. Grizzly bears once roamed throughout the entire western United States, south into Mexico, including the Great Plains and along rivers in desert habitats. Control actions and habitat loss extirpated them from 98% of their original habitat in the U.S. A large population of grizzly bears lives inland in Alaska and northern Canada. The southern populations in Canada's British Columbia and Alberta are greatly reduced. Thanks to conservation efforts since about 1975, grizzly bears are recovering well in Yellowstone and elsewhere in the northern Rockies and are even beginning to recolonize prairie habits along the Rocky Mountain front in Montana. Grizzly bears can be found in woodlands, forests, alpine meadows and prairies. In many habitats, they prefer riparian areas along rivers and streams. How do they behave in the wild? A typical pride of lions consists of about six related females, their dependent offspring, and a coalition of two to three resident males that join the pride from elsewhere. The pride is a fission fusion society, and pride mates are seldom found together except for mothers that have pulled their offspring into a creche. Young males always leave home in search of unrelated mates. Lions are most affectionate to their like-sexed companions. Females spend their lives in their mother's pride or with their sisters in a new pride. Grizzly bears are intelligent, curious, and have excellent memory, particularly regarding where food sources are located. Grizzly bears are active during the day and night, but will often alter their habits to avoid humans in areas of high human use. In the heat of the day, grizzly bears will rest in day beds. Most grizzly bears spend their time alone, except when breeding or raising cubs. For three to six months during winter, grizzly bears enter dens and hibernate during periods of low food availability deep snow and low air temperature. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, who would win between an African lion and a grizzly bear? Some of you may say a bear because of its brute force and aggression. Others might say a lion because of its guile, stealth, and natural-born killer instinct. The outcome of a bear versus lion fight would be different in the forests of the Rocky Mountains than on the African savanna. Of course, lion versus bear remains completely hypothetical. These animals do not overlap, and even if they did, they would probably stay away from each other. Considering the unavoidable size difference between the two, the bear should be hot favorite to win any battle with a lion. Neither can lay claim to being braver than the other, but with varying weapons and skills at their disposal, this fight would be decided on either the fight IQ and strategy of the lion or the merciless attack of the bear. In terms of physical strength, the muscles of the African lion are stronger than that of the grizzly bear. On the other hand, the grizzly bears are heavier, longer, and taller than the African lion. African lions are better hunters and fighters than grizzlies, as African lions face much bigger challenges for its food in the African jungle. Paws of the grizzly are bigger than the African lion, and it is much more helpful to easily swipe in a stronger manner during a fight. A grizzly bear could easily stand with its hind legs for a long time, but the African lion can only stand for a few moments. It is a bigger advantage to the grizzly because it gives it the ability to attack easily. An African male lion normally has the mane that would protect its neck from any kind of heavy swipe from the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear has more fat in its body and it is helpful for getting rid of the lion paw grip and swipes. Female grizzlies in Yellowstone are around the same size as lions and in this case, 
the lion should usually win. However, in a head-on face-to-face collision, the bear would win. A grizzly bear is way larger and heavier than an African lion. They can weigh twice as much. They can cause more damage to their opponent, even if lions have the upper hand in terms of speed and skill. A grizzly bear's claws are sharper and larger, with the ability to do a good amount of harm. If it comes to a fist fight, they may beat the odds. However, an African lion's teeth can bite to kill. This can stop the prey from making any movement. With its quick reflexes, the lion can deal a decisive blow by lunging at the bear's neck or face. Many cases were seen in which the grizzly bear dominated a male African lion completely in zoos and circus. One such incident happened in a circus where the grizzly bear killed an African lion with its paw swipes within a few minutes. The face of the lion was badly wounded by powerful swipes of the grizzly that causes the death of a lion. According to the doctor's report, the grizzly bear's paw had gone into the lion's skull, causing it to die instantly. Grizzly bears could fight till death. That makes it a truly dangerous predator in the world. African Lion versus Nile Crocodile who would win a fight between these two titans? A fight between the African lion and Nile crocodile can be said to be a battle of the titans, as both of them are legendary in their own way. They are found in the same continent and sometimes in the same geographic and climatic locations. Both are so powerful that it would be difficult to predict the outcome of a combat between the two animals. Lion, large, powerfully built cat that is second in size only to the tiger. The proverbial king of beasts, the lion has been one of the best known wild animals since earliest times. These magnificent predators are world renowned, and for good reason. The Nile crocodile is a large freshwater African reptile. It is responsible for the most deaths from any animal as a predator preying on humans, yet crocodiles serve an important ecological function. The Nile crocodile eats carcasses that pollute water and controls predatory fish that could overeat smaller fish used as food by many other species. Size and Description a full-grown male lion is about 6 to 7 feet, 1.8 to 2.1 meters long, excluding the 3.2 feet tail, 1 meter. He stands about 4 feet, 1.2 meters high at the shoulder, and weighs 370 to 500 pounds, 170 to 230 kilograms. The female, or lioness, is smaller. The lion's coat is short and varies in color from buff yellow, orange brown or silvery gray to dark brown with a tuft on the tail tip that is usually darker than the rest of the coat. The lion is a well-muscled cat with a long body, large head and short legs. Size and appearance vary considerably between the sexes. The male's outstanding characteristic is his mane, which varies between different individuals and populations. In some lions, the mane and fringe are very dark, almost black, giving the cat a majestic appearance. The Nile crocodile is the second largest reptile in the world, after the saltwater crocodile. Nile crocodiles have thick, armored skin that is dark bronze with black stripes and spots on the back, greenish-yellow side stripes and yellow scales on the belly. Crocodiles have four short legs, long tails and elongated jaws with conical teeth. Their eyes, ears and nostrils are on top of the head. Males are about 30% larger than females. Average size ranges between 10 and 20 feet in length, 3 to 6 meters, and anywhere from 300 
to 1,650 pounds in weight, 136 to 750 kilograms. Range and habitat. African lions have a number of subspecies separated by large, lionless expanses. Historically, lions could be found across the vast majority of Africa, but their current range has been restricted to a smattering of locations in Central and Southern Africa. Outside of Africa, lions used to be found from Greece all the way to India. Humans slowly decimated these populations over the centuries. Lions prefer grassland and savanna habitats in close proximity to water sources such as rivers. They also prefer hunting in open areas rather than densely packed forest. Lions are absent from all rainforest habitats in their range. The Nile crocodile is widely distributed across sub-Saharan Africa. The reptile most frequently occurs in the central, eastern and southern regions of Africa, as well as western Madagascar. Being an aquatic animal, the Nile crocodile is typically found in rivers, large freshwater lakes, freshwater swamps, mangrove swamps, as well as coastal estuaries. Diet Lions are predatory carnivores. They usually hunt in groups, but the actual killing is done by an individual lion. They frequently bring down prey much bigger than they are themselves. African lions eat the most common large ungulates in the area, like Thompson's gazelles, zebras, impalas and wildebeests. Individual prides tend to have their own eating preferences. Some prides tend to target large prey such as Cape Buffalo and Giraffe. Being a carnivore, Nile Crocodile feeds upon a wide variety of animal species, including insects, amphibians, fish and land mammals such as giraffes or Cape Buffaloes. Newly hatched crocodiles usually start with insects, eventually going over to larger prey. Crocodiles are ambush predators that wait for prey to come within range, lunge at the target and sink their teeth into it to drag it into water to drown, die from sudden thrashing movements or be torn apart with the help from other crocodiles. At night, crocodiles may leave the water and ambush prey on land. Behavior Lions spend lots of their time resting. They sleep, drowse, take catnaps and lounge in the sun for a total of 20 hours out of the day. Lions are active during the day, but they tend to hunt more frequently at night. As the sun begins to set, the lions socialize, groom one another and take care of their bathroom business. They will then spend most of the night alternating between lounging and hunting. Lions are known for their fierce roar, but may also growl, meow, snarl and purr. The Nile crocodiles are solitary animals. However, they can occasionally be seen feeding in small groups, consisting of several individuals. These reptiles are mainly nocturnal. By day, the crocodiles typically sunbathe or cool off in the water if needed. Male crocodiles are highly territorial. They patrol and defend their territories, which often include a part of the shoreline extending about 50 meters into the water. Nile crocodiles usually dive for a few minutes before they come to the surface. However, when threatened, they are able to remain submerged for up to 30 minutes. They are exceptionally fast runners and in general, these crocodiles have very quick reflexes, but unfortunately, tire quickly. Now let's see, who will win a fight between the king of the jungle and the Nile crocodile? Obviously, these two are skilled hunters. When it comes to fighting, they will use their intelligence. In some conditions, crocodiles win over lions, 
whereas in other conditions we will see lions winning with an upper hand over the crocodile. Both animals are wary of each other, as is common with apex predators. Nile crocodiles are much bigger than lions and have the second strongest known bite in the world, the strongest belonging to its bigger cousin, the saltwater crocodile. In most conditions, lions are successful in killing a crocodile, but they also suffer severe injuries. Any crocodilian versus big cat fight, the crocodile wins in water where it can attract as well as move faster. Alternatively, the lion wins on land where it can dodge the crocodile's attacks, and it began to suffer from the lactic buildup. Sometimes the lion has an upper hand because it is a flexible animal that can jump several feet into the air. The crocodile, on the other hand, is a rigid animal that cannot jump as high as an African lion. When the two animals are fighting, lions mostly pounce on the crocodile's neck before strangling it to death. Though rare, sometimes lions jump into water to catch crocodiles. Most times, African lions hide in bushes near water points, waiting for crocodiles to come out of the water for basking. The lion is so good at camouflaging with the surroundings that crocodiles don't normally discover they are being trapped until it is too late to run away and hide. The muscle in a crocodile's tail and its coarse and tough hide is also sometimes used as a weapon to defend itself. There are numerous accounts, including videos and photos, of modern big cats killing crocodilians larger than themselves on land. At average weights, the crocodile is only slightly larger than this lion, and the small weight advantage is not enough for it to win on land. The crocodile would need a very big weight advantage to win on land. These two animals have equal chances of winning. The winner is determined by the location of the fight and the first one to attack. If the crocodile is able to bite the lion, the crocodile wins. It has the strongest bite in the animal kingdom and tends to drag its prey into the water and spin it until it drowns. If the lion can successfully evade the bite and land on the crocodile's back, or manage to get it on its belly and bite down, the lion could win. Lion versus Gorilla Who would win this fight in the wilds of Africa? The king of the jungle or the dangerous gorilla? An African lion and a gorilla have approximately the same weight at their adult age, but their ways of living and their behavior is very different from each other. Unlike some animal rivals, this tough pairing doesn't have an obvious outcome. Both the lion and the gorilla have their share of strengths, each of which is unique. Lions are commonly known as the kings of the jungle. People around the world consider the symbol of lions as the sign of strength and power. They are the world's second largest cat after the tiger. They are the social cats and live together in groups called prides. The characteristic silver hairs on the backs of some mountain gorillas indicate they are adult males. As extremely powerful, silverback gorillas live mostly in the jungles that surround African mountain ranges. To sustain a body that size, silverback gorillas need to eat a lot of food every day and make sure they get all the right nutrients into their systems. Size and Description The lion is the only cat exhibiting sexual dimorphism, which means that male and female lions look different from each other. Males are larger than females. A lion's body ranges in length from 4.5 to 6.5 feet, 1.7 to 2 meters, with a 26 to 40 inch tail, 0.6 to 1 meter. Weight runs between 265 to 420 pounds, 120 to 190 kilograms. 
Lion cubs have dark spots on their coat when they are born, which fade until only faint belly spots remain in adulthood. Adult lions range in color from buff to gray to various shades of brown. Both males and females are powerful, muscular cats with rounded heads and ears. Only adult male lions display a brown, rust or black mane which extends down the neck and chest. Only males have dark tail tufts, which conceal tailbone spurs in some specimens. Silverbacks are very large. When they stand upright, they are from 5.5 to 6 feet tall, 1.7 to 1.9 meters, and weigh as much as 350 pounds, 160 kilograms. The silverback's ears look small for its head. Males have a large bony crest on the tops of their skulls and back, which helps support their jaw muscles and teeth. The bony crest gives their heads a conical shape. Females have the same crest as well, but it is not as pronounced as it is in males. Silverbacks are also very hairy. They are the hairiest of all gorilla species. Their hair is long and thick and helps to insulate them at high elevations. Silverbacks get their silver saddle at around 12 years old. Younger males who don't yet have the silver saddle are called blackbacks. Range and Habitat African lions have a number of subspecies separated by large lionless expanses. Historically, lions could be found across the vast majority of Africa, but their current range has been restricted to a smattering of locations in Central and Southern Africa. Outside of Africa, lions used to be found from Greece all the way to India. Humans slowly decimated these populations over the centuries. Currently, only a small population of the Asiatic lion subspecies can be found in the Gear Forest National Park in western India. Lions prefer grassland and savanna habitats in close proximity to water sources, such as rivers. They also prefer hunting in open areas rather than densely packed forest. Lions are absent from all rainforest habitats in their range. Western or lowland gorillas inhabit the forests of equatorial Africa from the western lowlands near the Cameroon coast through the Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Nigeria, Republic of Congo, Angola and possibly the Democratic Republic of Congo. Africa's tropical secondary forests, where the open canopy allows much light to reach the forest floor, provide the best habitat for western gorillas. Diet Lions are carnivores, which means they eat meat. In the wild, lion's prey usually consists of wildebeest, zebra, and various ungulates like giraffes, buffalo, and gazelles. Occasionally, lions will hunt young elephants, rhinoceros, or hippopotamus. Lions also scavenge food, chasing away hyenas and other carnivores from their kills. Lions are known to be opportunist feeders and will also eat rodents, small birds, hares and reptiles. A lion chasing its prey can run the length of a football pitch in six seconds. Lions' eyes have a horizontal streak of nerve cells which watch their prey carefully across the plains. Gorillas are primarily vegetarians and feed along the edges of dense forests. However, they do eat whatever insects and small animals are on the leaves and stems they consume. Gorillas also will eat crops and rotting wood. Silverbacks consume 45 pounds of food every day. Behavior Lions are primarily nocturnal or crepuscular. Lions spend much of their time resting, often up to 20 hours per day. During periods of rest, lions have many opportunities for social behavior. 
They gather and sleep in groups, rubbing their heads together and playing. Life in a group allows lions to hunt for food together. Female lions of a pride may spread out around potential prey to attack it from many directions. Despite their tremendous power and adaptive efficiency, lions are more likely to fail than succeed in their attempts to kill. Mountain gorillas are highly social animals who live in family groups, referred to as troops, led and protected by a dominant silverback. Three to four sexually mature females, one or two younger male gorillas, and three to six juveniles and infants form this cohesive family. Subordinate silverbacks might also be part of a troop. They are most often the younger brothers or adult sons of the dominant silverback. A large mountain gorilla troop can exceed 20 individuals. Now let's see finally who would win a fight between a lion and a silverback gorilla. The gorilla's large canines are designed not for flesh, but for intimidation, and they still pale in comparison to the predatory teeth of its opponent, the male lion. The silverback gorilla's arms are extremely strong, and even if it doesn't have lion-like claws, they have the ability to use makeshift weapons using the trees and rocks around them. Should a lion dare to attack a silverback head-on, he can use his powerful throwing force to land a serious and possibly fatal blow. Unlike the silverback gorilla, the lion is a predator by nature. While they may not share the same level of intelligence, the lion wields a body built for hunting. The lion's fearsome claws can also rake wounds into the gorilla, even as it struggles against the lion's jaws. The lion, despite its predatorial strengths, leans upon an assassin's technique. Due to his low stamina, he depends heavily upon a stealthy approach in order to take down his foe in a single strike. Finally, I believe the odds are in the gorilla's favor. If the lion can get in close enough and score an accurate bite, he could end the fight before it even begins. However, a gorilla is a mighty foe with more stamina and fearsome strength. Its will to fight will last much longer than a male lion's, and if it gets its hand upon a solid branch, it can put a beating on its feline combatant. So long as the silverback manages to evade a lion's bite and its scratches remain superficial, he can use his powerful punches and throws to score a hit that will lay the lion low. Who wins the fight between a pack of hyenas and a pack of lions? The fractious and competitive relationship between lions and spotted hyenas is well documented and has been observed across Africa wherever the two species are present in the same place. The dominant species in any fight is determined mostly by numbers and, in particular, the presence of male lions. While both species are active predators, lions and spotted hyenas will readily steal kills from the other as well as compete to scavenge on existing carcasses. Often described as the king of the jungle, lions are a distinctive and well-known big cat species. Lions are the only large cats that live and hunt in groups or prides, with the females doing the majority of the hunting. Hyenas are famous for their scavenging abilities, but the spotted hyena is in fact a strong hunter too. Also known as the Laughing Hyena, spotted hyenas hold a bite so powerful that it can crush a giraffe's bones. Size and Appearance Lions can grow to between 9 and 10 feet long, 3 meters, from head to tail, with the tail being about 2 to 3 feet long, 60 to 91 centimeters. They typically weigh between 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms, with males reaching the higher end of that range. Not only are male lions generally larger than females, 
but they also have a distinctive thick mane of hair around their heads that females lack. The mane also protects the male's neck during fights over territory or mating rights. The lion is a well-muscled cat with a long body, large head, and short legs. Adult hyenas reach a length of about 37 to 65 inches, 95 to 165.8 centimeters, and they stand 28 to 36 inches, 70 to 91.5 centimeters high at the shoulder. Males weigh 89 to 121 pounds, 40.5 to 55.0 kilograms, while females average 98 to 141 pounds, 44.5 to 63.9 kilograms in weight. The spotted hyena has powerful straight neck like polar bears. They have strong forelimbs, but the hind limbs are poorly developed. They have spots all over the grayish-brown coat. The back portion of the body or rump is a little rounded, which creates difficulty for the predators who intend to attack it from the back. The skull of the spotted hyena is powerfully built like most other land carnivores. Spotted hyenas possess powerful teeth, which can even crush the hardest part of bones. Range and Habitat Lions inhabit a wide range of habitats, from open plains to thick brush and dry thorn forest. Except for a small population of the Indian lion subspecies that remains in the Gia forest of northwest India, lions now live only in Africa, from the Sahara's southern fringe to northern South Africa. They are absent from equatorial areas dominated by moist tropical forest. Male lions defend the pride's territory, which may include an area of 100 square miles, 259 square kilometers. Spotted hyenas live throughout sub-Saharan Africa, though not in the far south or the Congo rainforests. Spotted hyenas' habitats include open woodlands, semi-deserts, mountain forests, and savannas. Spotted hyenas are found at an altitude of up to 4,000 meters above sea level. Food Habits Lions tend to hunt large animals such as antelopes, zebras, hogs, rhinos, hippos, and wildebeest, but they will also hunt smaller animals like mice and birds when opportunities arise. Females are the main hunters of the pride and work cooperatively in hunting parties to surround and take down prey. To bring prey down, lions jump on the backs of very large animals, but will ankle-tap smaller animals, meaning they reach out their paw and swipe the prey's legs to trip them up. To kill their prey, lions use their powerful jaws to snap the animal's neck or to strangle it to death. As a predator, the spotted hyena eats the most meat out of all the hyena species. Typical prey consists of wildebeest, zebra, and various antelope species. When scavenging, spotted hyenas can eat larger animals, such as giraffes and elephants, and can even fully digest their bones. The main rival for the spotted hyena is the lion, as they live in similar habitats with similar prey choices. Often the spotted hyena can do all the hard work that leads up to a kill, only to be approached by a hungry group of lions who steal it away. Fights can break out in this situation, so spotted hyenas need to always be alert. Behavior Lions spend lots of their time resting. They sleep, drowse, take catnaps, and lounge in the sun for a total of 20 hours out of the day. Lions are active during the day, but they tend to hunt more frequently at night. As the sun begins to set, the lions socialize, groom one another, and take care of their bathroom business. They will then spend most of the night alternating between lounging and hunting. Most hunts occur in the hours before sunrise. 
Spotted hyenas form one of the large groups as they are highly social. The group size can go up to 80 individuals. Female hyenas are thought to rule even the most dominant males. They are always highest in rank. Each of these clans claims territory either by marking scents or simply by vocalizations. Spotted hyenas are extremely territorial and are often seen chasing after the intruders until it leaves the territory. One or more females may use the same den at the same time. Hyenas are intelligent animals. Now let's find out what happens when a pack of lions meets a pack of hyenas. Hyenas and lions are two species whose living range heavily overlaps. When conflicts arise, it's usually in the hyenas' favor when they have their clan as backup. Despite their reputation as pure scavengers, spotted hyenas are actually very skilled and methodical hunters. In one battle, the hyenas may swarm a smaller group of lions and win. But if the lions have greater numbers or even better have a male on their side, things could look much different. Overall, I would say the winner of these fights just depends on who has the advantage in this specific battle. Lions are three to four times larger than hyenas and kill larger animals. However, male lions are avoided at all costs. But hyenas can group to over 20, while lion prides usually span from about four lions to 10. Spotted hyenas tend to go after either very young or very old members of a herd. Hyenas speak to each other in different ways. Their whooping noise signals intent or need to other hyenas. Lions are known to follow hyena calls and simply use their overtly massive body to push the much smaller hyenas around. That's why hyenas as pack hunters use numbers to their advantage. It's studied by Hans Crooks in Spotted Hyena Social Behavior and Predation that eight hyenas killed a fully grown male lion. In fact, during the Pleistocene age, hyenas were known to kill lions and bring their bones back to their dens. In 2015, a young male had been left to guard the pride's kill while the rest of the lions went for a drink. This was a dreadful mistake. Very soon, hyenas came in great numbers, chasing off the young lion. This conflict was far from over. Eventually, three lions from a new pride arrived and drove the hyenas away with their larger size. Still, the hyenas watched and they waited. As their confidence grew, the hyenas attacked, taking one lion at a time. First, they would surround their target, isolating him from the group. Then they would bite and nip, eventually chasing the feline off. The hyenas repeated the process with the remaining two lions, forcing them off the kill and finally securing the buffalo for their clan. Lions may be clearly stronger than hyenas, but in this case the hyenas' numbers and cunning helped them win the day. When fighting lions, hyenas employ pack coordination and intelligence, which lions lack heavily. Tell me, why is the hyena the most abundant predator in Africa, when lions have large litters and supposedly can hunt any animal it likes? Hyenas have a bad reputation, primarily due to biased lion lovers. I can say that the results of these conflicts are around 50-50. While lions are clearly stronger due to their larger size, hyenas make up for it with numbers and often cunning. If the number of lions is equal to that of hyenas, hyenas have no chance. But if the number of hyenas is much higher, they have serious chances against the lions. Barbary Lion vs Siberian Tiger who would win a legendary fight between these two wild cats? After making the video African Lion vs Bengal Tiger, 
Today I thought of finding a suitable match for the Siberian tiger. The Barbary Lion. Lions and tigers have always been a sight of fascination among humans. Tigers and lions are both symbols of strength and courage. The battle between tigers and lions is probably the most controversial topic in the world, and of course the most legendary battle in the animal kingdom. The Barbary lion was considered one of the biggest lion subspecies. This Barbary lion was glorified in the ancient Roman scriptures. Considered to be the link between the African and Asian lion, human intervention has wiped out this magnificent predator from the wild. The Siberian tiger, or Amur tiger, is the largest subspecies and the largest cat in the world. The Siberian tiger is a subspecies of tiger that lives in eastern Asia. They are one of six living subspecies of tigers, along with Bengal, Sumatran, South China, Indochinese, and Malayan tigers. If you're interested in animals that have lived on this earth, prehistoric animals, and much more, I recommend you to subscribe to the Wild Facts channel. You will find a link in the description. Thank you very much. Size and Description The male Barbary lion commonly weighed between 500 and 600 pounds, 226 to 272 kilograms, while the females weighed between 300 and 400 pounds, 136 to 181 kilograms. This big cat measures 3.2 feet one meter in height at the shoulder and up to 11.5 feet 3.5 meters in length its legs being shorter contributed to its overall muscular appearance one distinguishing feature was that its mane extended down the chest through the front legs through the underside of its belly to the groin the mane was very thick and dark the color of the mane was one of the many variants of blonde, depending on the age, gender, and physical condition of the lion. It is said that they developed the colors and size of their manes due to ambient temperatures, their nutrition, and their level of testosterone. The Siberian tiger averages about 11 feet, 3.3 meters in length, with a tail measuring 3 feet, 1 meter. Adult male Siberian tigers can weigh up to 700 pounds, 320 kilograms. Siberian tigers look much like any other subspecies of tiger. They have orange-red colored fur and black stripes across their bodies with cream or white colored underbellies. Compared to the other subspecies, Siberian tigers have thick, dense fur and stout bodies. Similar to people's unique fingerprints, no two tigers have the same striped pattern. Siberian tigers differ from other tigers because they have fewer, paler stripes, and they also have manes. The mane, in addition to their thick fur, helps keep them warm. Range and Habitat The Barbary lion was common in northern Africa. On the eastern side of the native range, the population was less dense because of all the aridness. By early 18th century, it completely disappeared from the eastern side, leaving a stray population in the Atlas mountain range, Algeria, Morocco, and Tunisia. Barbary lions preferred mountainous and forested terrain. They were solitary creatures. However, historical records suggest that they were often seen hunting as a unit. The Amur tiger is mainly found in eastern Russia, although there is a small population in China that depends on the movement of animals crossing the border with Russia. It cannot be confirmed if they inhabit North Korean territory. They inhabit high latitudes in taiga and boreal forests. Most are circumscribed to two small areas of Russia, 
Although their range of distribution is greater compared with other tigers, given the low density of prey. Therefore, they have to travel considerable distances to find food. Food Habits Barbary lion's prey included Barbary sheep, gazelle, wild boar, and the red deer. Carcasses that have been found have indicated that the main method of hunting resembled that of all other lions. It was death by strangulation, where the lion would chase down a prey and sink its teeth into the neck. Since it lived in mountainous terrain, it had a solitary existence or occasionally lived in pairs. Females raised their young until maturity, approximately two years, and then separated from them. Tigers live alone and aggressively scent mark large territories to keep their rivals away. They are powerful hunters that travel many miles to find prey, such as elk and wild boar, on nocturnal hunts. Tigers use their distinctive coats as camouflage and hunt by stealth. They lie in wait and creep close enough to attack their victims with a quick spring and a fatal pounce. A hungry tiger can eat as much as 60 pounds in one night, though they usually eat less. Behavior Hunting was one of the primary reasons for Barbary lion's extinction. However, ecological changes with increasing human population also proved to be another serious cause. Their numbers greatly went down by the mid-19th century. Deforestation and shortage of natural food sources also added to their misery. Their mating season is believed to be January. Records show that their gestation period lasted for around 110 days. Each of the cubs weighed around 1.5 to 1.7 kilograms. They were heavily spotted with dark rosettes. It is a solitary and very territorial tiger which usually marks trees and rocks to establish its area. Although there are only a few hundred Siberian tigers in their distribution range, they have the advantage of having vast areas available for searching food, an activity to which they dedicate part of the night. This animal is well known for its power and strength, which added to a fearsome reputation, stir fear among humans. However, the Siberian tiger avoids contact with people, although it may conflict with them if they are sick, injured, or unable to hunt normally. Now it's time for the battle. So let's find out together who would win, a Barbary lion or a Siberian tiger. The outcome would mostly depend upon the individual tiger or lion. In terms of size, we can choose two similar males. It is not a decisive factor because they are both almost the same size. The tiger is much better built physically than its lion cousin, being more muscular and agile, stronger and smarter, and equipped with the largest canines of any big cat. The tiger's skull is larger than the lion's head, even if it has no mane. Adult male Siberian tigers can produce 1,050 pounds of energy when biting their mouths. In contrast, the bite force of an adult Barbary lion is approximately 1,000 pounds force. This means that there is not much difference in their bite force. The Siberian tiger can reach a speed of 80 kilometers per hour, but it can only erupt within a short distance. On the other hand, the Barbary lion's speed can also reach 80 kilometers per hour. In this set of duels, neither side still has a huge advantage. At the same time, the paws of the Siberian tiger can reach up to 10.2 centimeters. The Barbary lion's claws are only 7.6 centimeters long. The main advantage of Siberian tigers when fighting with Barbary lions is that they can stand on their hind legs for a long time, and at the same time their two front paws can attack the enemy at the same time. 
In addition to the greater bite force than the Barbary lion, the Siberian tiger actually has a larger and stronger hindquarters, stronger muscles, larger claws, and sharper canine teeth. On the other side, the Barbary lion can only fight with one claw, but its claws are very powerful. The main disadvantage of the Barbary lion when confronting opponents is that it cannot stand correctly with its hind legs. There is one particular known case during which, towards the end of the 19th century, an Indian ruler arranged a fight between a Barbary lion named Atlas and a three-meter-long Bengal tiger before an audience of thousands. It was to determine which one of the two felines should be called king of the cat family and whether the lion truly deserved the title of king of the beasts. Eventually, after a long series of vicious fighting, the agile tiger ended the lion's life by pawing it repeatedly, and the man had to pay 37,000 rupees in honor of the striped cat's ruthless strength. Since Siberian tigers are the biggest of all tigers, why would they be any different? So, when caught in a fight with a Barbary lion, a Siberian tiger would definitely kill it one-on-one -on -one and head-on. But like I said, the outcome would only depend upon whether the tiger was strong and brave enough to kill its opponent, or vice versa.